Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mortician's Tale. Let's see what kind of uh, job we have to do today. Lots of things have happened. <clears throat> Let's start with the Funerals Monthly uh, thing again, newsletter. Funeral rites, even in your own culture, may be something many of us may be unfamiliar with. For many people, all they know about funeral traditions are what they've seen in media. But, and I think this goes without saying, funeral rites and traditions aren't the same across the board. Different cultures have different protocols for cleaning the body to different aspects of the surface itself. Religion provides different paths for dealing with the death, but the goal is almost always the same. I was stumbling about two words to start with an A. Offering support, guidance and ease to the people who are grieving. In Judaism, interment usually begins immediately after somebody has passed. Up until burial, the body is never supposed to be alone. So often families will appoint a shomer, uh, a guardian, to remain with the body. Preparations for burial begin as soon as possible in Muslim traditions as well. Local Islamic community organizations are also often involved and help the family make arrangements for the funeral service and burial. But not all practices are strictly religiously focused. In the odds of South Korea, the amount of graveyard space began to shrink drastically, causing a law to be passed that required families to remove a loved one's body from its burial place after 60 years. Many families began to cremate more often. But there are also companies that compress remains into beads in uh, turquoise, pink or black called death beads. This also occurs in North America, Europe and Japan, but remains much more common in South Korea because of the space issue in graveyards and the expenses of cremation. The thing is, I'm from a very small country, like probably one of the smaller countries in the world. We don't have a lot of space, which is why our uh, houses basically, we're, we're, everything is packed together here, including cemeteries. So the thing is, in what I believe in, in the US, uh, since they got so much space if you're buried you're there forever that's not gonna happen here um, here if you're buried you're you're paying for that spot you're renting the spot for 10 years I think it's 10 years could be 15 years maybe 20 years um, after that the ancestors have the option to buy out uh, yeah I said buy out uh, another period of 10 years so you need to keep on paying to keep your space if you don't pay your grave will be cleaned your bones will be put on a general spot on the cemetery um, a bone grave where you get to rest eternally so if your ancestors don't want to pay you your grave your grave simply will be um, cleaned cleaned up so to make more room for someone else uh, and that's just the typical burial thing of course you can be cremated here and then you can put it in an urn you can do it with the ashes what you want um, and there's this this uh, green burials that that are actually um, becoming a thing here uh, where we did the, the it's I'm not even sure how long it's like the last five years or something that that was introduced where you have uh, a spot they could probably bury you underneath a tree where you can decompose fully, but that spot is yours until eternity. They're not allowed to put someone else on that spot. That's all I know about burials here in uh, the Netherlands. Right, where were we here? Uh, not all practices are somber either. Ever hear of the turning of the bones or... Famadihana, a ritual by the Malagasy people of Madagascar. Famadihana has families returned to the ancestral crypt, exhumed the bodies wrapped in cloth before dancing with the bodies to lively music. This practice is a celebration, remembrance, and a way of keeping the deceased involved in family news. It's also um, pretty grim. Death can be a difficult time for many people, obviously, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a beauty in the ways we choose to honor or celebrate our disease. I am quite surprised they didn't mention the uh, the air burial. I think it's called the air burial. Uh, certain tribes somewhere in the world. Uh, I, I, I 
can't remember where, probably Tibet or something. Um, basically, they just uh, uh, cut up the dead body and feed it to vultures, which is amazing because you're giving back to nature and such. Right, so what do we have? You're invited to attend a death cafe. Come increase awareness of death with a view to help people make the most of their finite lives. Or is it finite lives? Because you say infinite, but is it finite? Join us, have a tea and cake and talk with others about our thoughts, fears and illuminations on death. The founder of the Death Cafe uh, movement, John Underwood, once said, when people talk about death and dying, it tends to illustrate their humanity. See everyone in the upside down jar next Thursday. Cool. Can't really write much right now. I have a lot of work I have to do with an inguinal hernia. In inguinal hernia from 7050. It's the oldest in our collection. You can even see this bit of paper the surgeon put in after removing the hernia. Super cool. What? I'll send you the link when we have it catalogued. What is my life? What is that sentence I just typed? But anyway, this event that I'm forewarning you is taking place near you. Figured you'd be into it. Might help with that feeling of restlessness you were talking about before. Could be good to talk about some of the things you're feeling. Lots of death positive people here. Sounds like it'll be a safe space. Um, oh, this is just one, one email. Can I just say first off that this is bullcrap? Ugh, knowing how these corporations run, wouldn't be surprised if they're monitoring our emails now. Okay, I don't really believe that. I'm just upset. I get that Amy didn't have much of a choice. You can only find a huge corporation taking all of your business for so long. This isn't six feet under. And they just swooped in and now we have to deal with their bullshit practices. They're colder than the corpse I picked up from the morgue this morning. Who charges this much for funerals? It feels dirty and exploitive. Let's grab a drink after work. Need to blow some steam, and emails aren't really the most appropriate place to do this. Too late for me, I guess. Well, what is that about then? Because this is our new owner. We are pleased to bring on Rose and Daughters as part of Hillside Heritage Enterprises Incorporated. They will be another institution amongst hundreds of other properties owned across the country. But of course, as part of the adjustment process to the Hillside Heritage Enterprises Incorporated culture, there will be a number of changes that will come to Rose and Daughters. God dang it again. We will send out the memo regarding the specifics and details uh, of these changes and we expect them to be followed impeccably. Glad to be the leading the w glad to be the leading the way for Rose and Daughters from now on. They removed her picture. They removed the picture um it's the newest funeral home to join. Yeah, they changed it. They changed the website already. <coughs> Charlotte. Okay, wait. Thank you, Mr. Grant, for agreeing to take care of Jocelyn's cremation. The bike accident was, well, it was more than I was expecting. I know she wanted to be cremated. And to be honest, I don't think I could bear seeing her like that after what happened. Okay. Below are the details of our next client. Ensure you follow the requested specifications exactly. After you are done, I will review your work in order to properly evaluate you at the end of the month. What the hell? This stinks. This stinks. I miss uh, May. Was May her name? Prepare Miss Lonesco's body for cremation. Remove Miss Lonesco's watch and place it on the train. Place the round identification tag in the coffin. Boom. She's all set to be cremated now. Push the button. Yeah, this stinks. This whole new corporation thing. It's bad. It happens everywhere. Uh, small business gets swallowed up. Yes. Uh, we know how to do this. It's one. It's two. And skull. Did put the jewelry in there. Identification tag. And we're done. Right. 
right let's go and pay our uh, our last respect I just hope the experience of the people will remain the same and that differently should we do a vigil at the spot careless drivers I swear to god I know right I'm glad I'm here but wow I just need a glass of wine and to binge watch something right now I can imagine that I have to go through all of her things. How am I supposed to decide what to keep? If you need help, I can help. No, thanks. I mean, but no. I don't know. It's so intimate. Feels like I should do it myself. She would kill me if others saw the things we have. Yeah, she was kind of a close book. Except to you. Yeah. Yeah, she was special. Ah. <sighs> So glad it was a cremation. I would have lost it seeing her body. This game actually... They pinpointed the whole grieving aspect of death and by putting it into... Uh, I mean, we, we get to see the behind the screens of a funeral home and, and what they need to do. But this, this here, this thingy, every time in this room where the people talk about their beloved ones that's uh, that's the thing it, it this pinpoints feelings <laughs> she was always so careful wore her helmet signals using the bike lanes asshole drivers didn't need to pay attention have you heard what's happening to the driver no I haven't wanted to ask Leah this has been hard enough on them without asking about the legal ramifications of all of this yeah after all this let's see what we can do to help them shouldn't deal with the death of their partner all by themselves uh, so sad accidents happen yeah there we go so that's um, that's another case done which means we're gonna continue next time so thank you for watching if you like what you're seeing don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to hang out with me, discuss the game, or just talk to my buddies, that, that is possible. We have a Discord. The link is in the description. And uh, everyone is invited. Again, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.